I asked myself, do all my videos have to start in my office? Well, here's the answer. What's up, Simonix? I feel a bit better this week. <coughs> And I wanted to talk about a topic that we kind of touched before. It is about ideas, side projects, becoming a successful or building a successful business. All of these are things that I haven't achieved yet. Great time to talk about it, right? Anyway, I learned a lot of things about the last year or so when I was working on different side projects that basically never took off. I want to share with you some learnings about these projects and my quest uh, about searching the golden idea that will make me kind of successful one day. So if you are also looking for the golden idea basically all the time and trying out different things and nothing has worked so far, this episode is right for you because we're basically in the same boat. <laughs> know about you but I'm kind of hooked by the idea to build a side project that actually other people in this world use and eventually pay money for. So basically that's like the end goal and to get there there are a lot of stages and things required. If you start to look online and read articles which is most of the time the thing we tend to do to get some information you will read about a lot of successful people and how they bootstrap their company to whatever big number of monthly recurring revenue or annual revenue or whatever it might be. And if you're just starting out, these articles can be kind of, um, I don't know, frustrating maybe? Because obviously these people are already there where you want to be. And the question is, what about the path from where I am here to there? So that is really the question. The problem is a lot of people are looking for shortcuts um, to basically skip this way or to immediately in the least amount of time go that way. And from my experience, um, they're not really shortcuts. So I don't know how long you've been following me or if you know my story. I basically created a lot of very, very unsuccessful projects. Just to name a few of the last, I created a job board which didn't really take off in any way. Um, I created an Instagram app for iOS and Android, which basically I'm the power user of, but nobody else is using it. I created a fitness application with friends that we eventually sold for just just a minimum price and basically made no profit at all and nobody was really using that application. I created an analytics site for uh, a WordPress plugin which I eventually never really launched due to a lot of problems in the process and the last thing I did was create the App Store kit, um, a page to help people create beautiful assets and screenshots for the App Store and well, yeah, one person used it actually and I use it. And if you take a look at all of these projects, I can assure you that, I don't know, I have spent a lot of hours on these projects. And while I don't want to be arrogant or anything like that, I feel like I know a few things about building stuff, but I don't know about building successful stuff. So although I know a lot about the marketing and how I've built the academy and my blog and the YouTube channel, um, I still fail to make any of these projects successful. And I hope this is uh, for you a little motivation that even people with a kind of big YouTube account or following online build stuff that eventually nobody is going to use. So from all of these projects, um, I definitely learned a thing. I talked about this in the past, that side projects are the best place and the best way to get better and learn. At the end, when you launch something, the goal is to have users either actually using the application or paying you in the best case. And if nothing of that happens, well, you get frustrated. And talking for myself, I definitely feel a bit frustrated and a bit sad um, that I invest a lot of time into a project and in the end, it turns out for nothing. And when you combine this frustration or sadness with reading maybe articles about how others build it, how they've built a successful company, this, this thing, this tension between your sadness and the success of others uh, is something that can either really bring you down or uh, motivate you to get back into the grind. And right now I'm basically finished with an episode of being a bit sad and frustrated about my past projects and I now try to focus more on what did I do wrong, what do I definitely want to uh, not do again and how can I make my next side project at least 
kind of successful. I don't mean to build a huge successful application right now alone as a side project, but to actually build something that solves a problem for people and then also let them pay for the solution. And this brings us back to the title of the video, which is kind of clickbait, I know, I'm sorry. On my quest for uh, searching, finding new ideas, I haven't come across any idea I had for myself that was like the golden idea that would completely blow off. And I don't think actually that there is such an idea and that we should stop look for this idea. The only thing we should look out for are solutions for real problems. And if your side project can really fix a problem, which I thought I was doing with my last project actually, then your chances are a lot better that somebody is going to use your piece of code. So what I do, I actually keep a list of basically wild ideas I have every now and then. And right now um, I'm gathering a few ideas. I try to think about what skills I have, what problems I encountered in the past, or what my freelance clients encountered in the past. So to find your golden idea that will perhaps make you rich in the end, you should start with your skills and what problems you encountered that you could solve. And that is right where I am. And a great place I also found is, besides all the successful stories that are out there, on Indie Hacker. Indie Hackers or Indie Hacker? I'm actually not sure what's the URL. The URL is IndieHackers.com. A great platform where people share their journey and they also have a podcast that I regularly listen to. And you can gather a lot of ideas from that page where real makers and actually not only like the big startups with already 10 employees, but really the small makers talk about what they do, what tools they use, how much revenue they already have. And this is a platform to see some real examples and that is a great way to get motivated in my eyes. All right, so why do I talk about all of this? First, because I wanted to share how I felt over the last weeks after the launch of a not so successful project and how I tried to get back on track and motivate myself once again to get back to a mind where I create new ideas and find the passion to work on something new. Also, this is a small reminder to never lose the faith. Even if you develop like five, 10, maybe perhaps even 20 unsuccessful projects, this can really take time and you have to trust the process and just keep going again and again. The most important thing, which I kind of neglected a bit in the past, is to learn from your failures. And that's why I would definitely want to validate my next idea a lot more than I did in the past, where I just thought, well, this is a problem and I'm gonna solve it. So this is also one small learning. Even if you think there's a problem that you solve, try to get a feedback, get people involved in your idea. Um, this will really help you to understand what's really their problem and if you're really solving that problem. So even if you feel frustrated, take your time to recover, build up new energy and then start again. Keep experimenting and as, well, a kind of famous person said, Beneath it were the words, stay hungry, stay foolish. All right, with that being said, you can count on me going forward with new side projects, perhaps not this week or next week, but over the next time, I will definitely once again share my learnings, what I do, which steps I take to build the next project. I have no idea what it will be, but I will definitely let you know. If you got any questions about side projects or maybe also in terms of motivation, mindset, resources, anything about that, just let me know below the video. I wanna make a Q&A very soon, so all questions are welcome once again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure to give the like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified about new videos, and then I will catch you next week. So this week go out, start your next side project, or just gather some new energy for the next successful thing that you're gonna build. I definitely trust you that you're gonna do something awesome. Stay hungry and foolish, and I will catch you next week. So happy coding, Simon.